this is a quick DIY tutorial on how to revamp an old charm bracelet that maybe you just don't like anymore, maybe it's tarnished, maybe it's a little bit worn down. So I took this one and I made it kind of a nautical theme with my navy and white embroidery floss and cute little octopus and anchor charms. So that one turned out really well. You can't even tell that this chain is completely tarnished. So once you gather all your supplies together, it takes about 15 minutes from start to finish to do this revamp project. And I hope you enjoy it. For this project, you'll need your bracelet that you're going to be recycling, two bobby pins, your embroidery floss and some scissors to cut it to be twice the length of your bracelet. I'm using two colors, navy and white. And if you'd like, you can also add some charms, but you'll need pliers and a jump ring for that. You'll also need either a clipboard or a large piece of tape to secure your work. The first thing you're going to do is take all of your threads and put a bobby pin around all of them. Pass that through the first link on your bracelet and then tie a knot. Make sure you pull that tight. Next, I'm going to clip my bracelet in one place in my clipboard. That way it stays put while I work on it. And I will take my two different colors of embroidery floss, put a bobby pin around each one, and this is going to help me weave with them. So the first one, I'm going to start on the same length where I put that first knot, and I'm going to go underneath my bracelet and come up through that first link and pull the rest of the thread through. And just set it aside like that. Then I'll take my other bundle of threads and I'm going to pass that through the next link in my bracelet. everything stays tight. Set it aside the same way I did the first one. Then I'll take my first string again, pass it over that one, and put it up through that second link again, where I just put the other one. So just make sure that you keep pulling your braid tight, and let me show you a close-up of what's happening here. This bobby pin is just going from the back up and through to the front, and then I'm pulling it to the left, just like that. Then the other one is going to cross over the front of it, and it's going to go up from the back of that bracelet to the front, and pull it over to the left. And just keep doing the same thing until you get to the end of your bracelet. So when you get to the end of your bracelet, you'll want to make sure that both bundles of string are coming up from the back to the front through your second to last link on the bracelet. Then you'll take a bobby pin and put that around both of those bundles. And now you're just going to tie it off through the last link. So I'm going to take this and put it through that last link, like so. And it's going to go around the outside of that last link. back up and under, and you'll see how you've made kind of a loop at the top. This bundle is going to go through that loop using your bobby pin. And then when you pull it tight, you'll have a secure knot over that last link in your bracelet. Then you'll just trim it, and if you'd like, you can add a dab of glue to the knot. I'm just going to leave mine. 
Next, if you have any charms you want to add to your bracelet, you can put them on with a jump ring. That is your finished bracelet.